Cardinals and bishops from across the globe will soon be gathering at the Vatican, where they will have the first of two worldwide meetings for the Synod. The October undertaking is meant to figure out how we can grow together as a universal church. But lately, the highlight of discussion has been the perceived tensions between the Pope and a few American bishops. The papal representative to the United States, Cardinal-elect Christophe Pierre, counters the prelates are in communion with the pontiff. This is what Pope Francis tells us all the time, you know. Uh, tensions is not bad on the conditions that you are not uh, totally enclosed in your tensions. You, you still uh, try to look at the person and not just the idea that the person is carrying uh, on. Some reports are saying the Pope could impose pontifical secrecy on the synod meeting, meaning not only would opinions and votes be kept confidential, but also the topics addressed. Taking a deeper dive now into next month's Synod on Synodality, we're joined by national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, John Lavenberg. Hey, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, tell us about the process leading up to the assembly at the Vatican and, and why there may be a need for secrecy. Yeah, so this need for secrecy, and it's, it's well known that inside the room at the Synod, no cameras, no journalists will be allowed. And that's because they think that's important to preserve honest and frank discussions, to allow all the delegates from around the world to express their true feelings on how to move the church forward, uh, which is the goal of this Synod. All right, so what are some of the topics that will be addressed? So, of course, there's a lot of the hot button issues that have been well documented, talking about same sex unions, uh, married priests, women ordination. Um, things of that nature. But then there's also issues looking at evangelization, catechesis, faith formation, topics that really about how do we evangelize and bring people to the church, the next generation to the church moving forward. Wow, they're going to cover a lot. So how does the Synod on Synodality differ from previous synods with the bishops? Sure. So this, this synod is different in the sense that up until this point, the Synod of Bishops has only been bishops allowed in those rooms to have those conversations. Now, for the first time, uh, lay men and women and women religious will be there as well to to participate in, the, in these discussions. And what's also unique is the Synod of Bishops is split into two parts, this October, and then it will conclude next October where any formal changes will be announced. All right, we'll have to wait and see to see what happens. John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks for being here. Thanks, Christine. You can follow more of John's reporting on the Synod online at thetablet.org. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.